Hey, how's it going guys? This is Max Fisher here. As you guys can see, I kind of uh, set up a new office. This place was kind of off limits for a while. Uh, you can see some of the sheetrock over there coming down. Maybe you can see some of the uh, missing uh, sheetrock over there where the roof was. We had to put a new roof on this and get it tight. Uh, it was leaking water for a while, but we kind of let it go. Um, wanted to clean it up, make it an office, you know. And uh, the reason why I did that, we've been talking a lot about optimizing, a lot about optimizing the body, optimizing the mind, uh, you know, getting your day started off on the right foot, making the right progress to where you need to be to achieve your goals. And that's the, really the best thing you can do to, you know, to keep moving forward every day. You know, it gets to be aware on you sometimes. If you're just working hard, if you're just fuck, if you're just grinding all the time, if you're pushing and pushing and pushing. You need to work a little bit smarter, otherwise you're going to burn out, you're going to break, you're going to shut down or whatever, you know, there's negative effects of just, you know, work, working hard and beating your body up and beating your mind up and, you know, being emotionally drained. So, in the sense that, you know, when you optimize, you don't use as much, you work smarter, you, you know, use less energy and you become more fluid through the, out the day, more dynamic, it's not... You know, things don't seem to stress you out. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what I found out with when I had uh, my office, my office downstairs was that, you know, the kitchen's right there and the dogs or toys are all there. And, my, you know, people are walking in and out of the house and, you know, talk, trying to talk to me. And I uh, just, I needed this space, you know, I needed something to, with minimal distractions. As you can see, you know, I got my, little pole bar, I like to do my little routines on, some yoga mats, a uh, computer chair, looking out the window. I mean, I don't sit in those. I already know it would happen if I did. I'd fall asleep probably. We got a couch over here, but uh, it's kind of it's kind of mainly for the dogs. They've kind of taken that over, so I'll just let them have that. But that, as you can see, I don't. There's. I don't bring in certain things. I mean, you can see drinks and stuff. I try not to bring food in here for I feel like that's a distraction. You know, I try not to, uh, I only try and keep my cell phone in here is if I'm doing something where I need the internet on my computer and the internet on my phone so I can be more efficient. I try and keep my cell phone out if it's, uh, if I know it's gonna provide a distraction. Um, Butterboo right here, he's a hard one sometimes and sometimes you know I need to keep him out I need to have him shut out so he's not trying to play ball with me I, I might just need to get get this video done and get it up online and uh, type out this email and every time he's sitting down there throwing the ball at my feet it's you know breaking that focus you know uh, it's not it doesn't go in line with the productivity so sometimes you have to do those things uh, Sometimes the people that you love are going to feel like you're shutting them out a little bit or you're uh, becoming very secluded, but there's a certain amount of attention that you need to be able to give to the project that you're working on. I mean, and then when other people um, around you that might not have as much going on or, you know, might be under this uh, hypnotic spell of boredom, uh, if they've come in and trying to talk to you and make small talk and that's just you know that's in my opinion it's wasting my time and their time because uh, I'm not engaged I'm trying to do other things but they just don't really understand and I don't want to be rude and say you know uh, stop talking to me I need to get this done I mean sometimes you have to be brash with people but in this effort you can kind of keep the peace you know keep people out let them know like uh, hey, do not bring that in here, or please uh, respect it when the door is closed, not to come in and interrupt. That's how you optimize your day. That's how you get the most work done. I've actually, you know, been killing it now. Uh, it's only been three three days now that I've had my office, actually four, four days that I've had my office up here, but I'm killing it. It's so much easier to get so much more work done when you can keep that focus and those distractions to a minimum. And um, it's really just the way to go. Like if you're zoning in on your computer, you zone in the books, you, you know, you zone in on the books, you read, you do your thing. And uh, it's just something, 
something to be said about being a minimalist if you want to focus on your goal. And uh, then, of course, you have to work as on work on uh, optimizing your time efficiently on the computer, uh, Facebook, social media, all those great things give you that little sense of um, completion when others comment, post, uh, like, share, whatever. So uh, maybe that's going to be our next topic of conversation because this is personal development and a lot of people in personal development like to have an internet business going. So I might dive into a little bit of that. I'm sure if you guys have been in this uh, personal development industry for a while, you already, you know, if you don't already have a business, you're working on making one and you, let's be realistic. This is the 21st century. Everybody's going to, the only way everybody looks for anybody anymore is on their phone or on the internet. So we'll go over a little bit, maybe about optimizing your time on the internet and, uh, but hey, it's Fired Up Friday. I'm telling you guys to optimize your time. Get it going, get it done. Get a little bit of dedication in your life. Uh, Weekend Warrior Series is coming up. Goals, keep crushing them. Keep on crushing them. I mean, there's no reason to stop. We, uh, we're closing in on 40 days now and um, 20 days left. We're on the back end of this thing, so if you're not uh, if you're not fired up every time, every moment, every second, there's a flaw in your game plan. And you know, I realize you know some days there's that little bit of a drag. I get it. I go through it. I know what it's like. But it's about picking yourself up. You might burn out, but every time you burn out, try and make it a little bit further and a little bit further and a little bit further. Find some fucking passion. Find something you want to chase. Find something that's meaningful. Find something, anything, that's going to get you out of bed in the morning. Alright, so this is Max Fisher from A Better Universe. It's your Fired Up Friday. Go out and get it, guys. Mind, body, spirit connection.